Time all new at six. Pricey homes purchased by the feds for Border Patrol agents. Yeah, that's right. An investigation on this dating back to last year is now complete, and we are learning the cost you paid per home is much higher than we thought. ABC 15's Mary Ellen Resendez has been pouring over this report. I mean, Mary Ellen, this is wild. How much specifically are we talking here? $4.6 million, Katie, or nearly $700,000 per house in a small town of Ajo, Arizona. Now, just to put this in perspective, this is not Scottsdale or Paradise Valley. The average cost of a home in this area is $86,000. Drive down the street where U.S. Customs and Border built 21 homes to house agents, and you'll find fairly modest looking homes. But according to a report just released by the Department of Homeland Security's Inspector General, CBP paid, quote, a premium price on the lots, as much as $680,000 a piece. It was abuse and waste of government money. That was one resident's reaction when it was first reported the homes cost nearly $300,000. Now double that. CBP chose to build because, according to a report, homes in Ajo did not meet government standards. And the agency told ABC 15 70% of its Border Patrol agents were commuting up to two hours a day. Last year, we spoke with a family member of one Border Patrol agent who had asked not to be identified, but told us they moved from Maricopa to Ajo to spend more time together. We know a lot of the agents that have wanted to move closer for a long time, but they just they look and look and look, and they don't find anywhere that they think is safe enough that they feel comfortable with their job descriptions living at and so these when these houses went up it was kind of like a light at the end of the tunnel. Now the bottom line from the inspector general is that CBP did not effectively plan and manage their employee housing in Ajo, Arizona and made decisions that resulted in additional costs for the federal government. ZBP, C, I'm sorry, C, PB, though, is disputing how the inspector general calculated the cost of each home and mobile home. They say that total number still is for an additional 25 homes on top of that 21 homes and will include water, sewer, roads, and many other um, utilities and infrastructure in order to get that area back up. So they're saying the cost is much less than what uh, the inspector general is saying. Yeah, we've been on this story for a while and we will continue to stay on it. Mary Ellen, thank you.